All right, this is six scale to July 11th. Okay, um, I, the only thing I had today was to review the metrics because, um, well, actually, it was only two things. Review the metrics, and I just wanted to see how it went with the, or we'll review the, how, how it went with the 1.3 release. So this is um, after a bunch of changes. So I wanted to show these. So we have um, the PR from last time here was merged. Uh, it looks like we got a little bit of data that's starting to come back to normal. So this is good to see. I did want to look at, um, yeah, so point out this one. So not all of them came back to normal. We've got this one that didn't, and then I saw there was maybe one more. It all came back. Okay, it looks, oh, here it is. Okay, so the update and, so the endpoints actually looks like the endpoint API files disappeared. Um. <clears throat> Ryan, if you can open the PR, I think there was a discussion about the endpoints, if I remember correctly. Okay. There we go. Uh, okay, yeah, you looked at it. Okay, cool. Yeah, I okay. I what think I think that we moved the leader election logic to a new um, way of electing leader. And because of that, we don't use endpoints. Uh, we use a different object called leases. So um, <clears throat> all of those endpoint calls will be transferred to leases. Okay. Okay, so this is expected. Okay, good. Then that makes sense. Um, okay. Yeah, then maybe we should drop this from our graphing and move to pieces then since this is always going to be zero yeah i i think going from next release yeah this is one of the interesting things so now we don't we'll not have trend lines for leases since we are starting afresh and yeah. we can't really merge data points from endpoints into leases so yeah We'll have to find a way to, you know, handle this. I think, I mean, I think it's okay if we just start tracking it and then, I mean, some things might change and I think the trend line here, I think we just make a note of this and in um, maybe in 1.4, whenever we start, do we actually, that's sort of the question is, um, well, that was gonna be the next question actually is that um, what do we publish do we publish endpoints? I forget if we do as part of the uh, summary as the for the release. Mm, no, I don't think we do. Okay. Then that's okay. I guess maybe what we can do is just make a note of it. Um, oops. Yeah, I mean, I think what we could do is just make a note of it in here. That endpoints have transitioned to leases now, and so the diagrams will work like yeah. that. Can you check in the scaling benchmark section underneath this? Uh, it's in the same markdown document, just a few scrolls. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so we have batch bar. We don't have endpoints. Good notes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's a, so. Those are going to be some of my next questions. All right. So we've got. So you've got the context for this here. Okay. Um. All right. This yeah. This will come back. Right. It'll come back to normal, and we'll in the next release, and it'll make more sense. Okay. So we had um the lines here. Let me go to the top so I can. Interpret this correctly. The colored line. I oh, yeah. Okay. So the new ones are 
here's the provider change. So green and violet. Okay, and then everything else was 1.3 release. So since the green dotted by, sorry, 1.3, and then there's our change, 129, which looks like it was uneventful. No, no change at all in the data. Yeah, it looks like there's really not much than um, that was happening between releases here, other than just this bug that we lost the data. Yeah. Okay. Um, Ryan, I just shared a link of one of the uh, job runs. Uh, if you open that in the chat, it has, it does indeed have the data from Lee's. I don't see it in the chat. Uh, oh, sorry, I was not replying to everyone. Okay, let me do that. Oh, I sent it again. Yeah, the get leases count, uh, it's 97, and the update is 157. You can quickly check with our older baselines on the endpoints. So it's about half on the updates. I don't know if that. I mean, the other thing too is I. I so I don't. I don't know the difference between these APIs. I mean, maybe you don't. Is there maybe there's a reason you wouldn't. They wouldn't be the same. It looks like they're they're not. So I don't know. Maybe this is explainable. I don't know what I, what to think about it other than that. Yeah, I don't even know if I want to compare it. Like, it's sort of, um, yeah, I just don't know what the, the difference between the two are. 500. There should not be a difference, but it's possible. You said there I mean, shouldn't that, be a difference, Debo? There shouldn't be a difference. Yeah, but I mean, previously, uh, like the lease. Or the leader election library or package I was using the endpoints, and that has some performance uh, implications because endpoints are widely watched resource. So that's why they made the lease object, and that's why they are recommending to move uh, to leases now. Um, but the values should be pretty much the same, but. So maybe what I'm hearing is that maybe that the thought uh, they were a little bit off. I mean, and maybe it's because there's some noise here, right? Maybe some other some other things that we maybe Kubernetes or something else is using this too. Well, it depends on Kubernetes. what kind of metric we are using, uh, but it could be something else. Too. Actually, this is only the keyword plan, right? This is not Kubernetes. Yeah, the um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how to explain this, but these aren't these aren't anywhere close. And this was like a fifth. Uh, the other thing, Ryan, is that we are looking at um, VMI VMI in the JSON file and VM in the graph. Okay. Do we have um? Do we have one we can compare? Or no, we don't have that yet. We do. Okay. Just yeah, just yeah. That's it. okay. Let's see. Okay, one eighty four. That's higher. And two ninety eight. Okay, the two ninety eight uh is is that was pretty close. I think it was three hundred. Yeah. Okay. Here's update leases count. 200. Okay, that looks the same. But not close on this one. And this one's about half. Okay, I mean, it's a little bit closer. Okay, maybe what we can do, I mean, um, 
we'll just have to add this to our graphs and then we can we can probably get some more data over time and then make a judgment that way because at least from just looking at the sample, I don't doesn't look like we we have the same yeah, I mean it's I don't know. I mean I'm not even sure what judgment we can make here. Other than that they're not the same. Okay, this looks good. Um, Alay, is there anything, or, or Shreesha, did you guys want to talk about this at all? Like anything um, particularly? I mean, I know I mentioned like there wasn't much change here, it looks like, but I don't know if there's anything else you wanted to add. Uh, you no, know, I, I think there wasn't a lot this time around. Uh, one thing that um, Rijan and I were discussing was that uh, <clears throat> the process of generating these uh, benchmark numbers is still very manual at the end of each release. Um, we're brainstorming if there is a way to um, automate that in CI. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't think there is any uh, path discussed yet, but something we should track for the ne next release. Ideally, it would be great to have um, some other utility in the PARF report generator um, that can help us, um, you know, reduce the manual actions. Okay, thanks. Okay. Um what uh all right, what else then um is going on? I think I think that covers a lot of this release stuff. I think another thing, um Shrija was running into an issue with regards to uh quark end to end testing. Um uh, Shrija, do you want to um give an overview of that? Yeah, yeah. Uh, after every test, there is after, uh, just after uh, running a collected report, like a collected all the report. So, during the, uh, one of the logs is that uh, getting uh, logs from word handler pod. Since uh, we are writing pod tests, so since the uh, node is fake, uh, there is no word handler pod assigned to the uh, swap node. So we would be getting warnings. Yeah, similarly with uh, uh, the executing the, uh, I mean, SSHing into the VM and uh, executing some commands, similarly we'd get the uh, warnings there. So I and uh, Ale were discussing that uh, it should be forwarded to the other team yeah yeah um <clears throat> so i we we just have to look whether this is a must gather issue or this is an issue we can handle in code um lubo if if this is lubo do you know if we are running must gather after each end to end test or where are these logs? Must, must get her? No. Okay. So I, I didn't understand the issue. Like, is it that we we need to run must gather, or is it that we there's a bug in something? Or is this some sort of thing we're missing utility? No, I think the core issue is that after the end of the test, um, 
the test is trying to gather logs for um for the VM. Uh, and since this is a fake node and fake NIA VM, it's getting warnings, right? So that's what I was trying to figure out if those logs are, I mean, must gather is a standard way of getting the logs after uh, a pro job. So I was wondering if this is happening in must gather or somewhere else. It, it looks like um, we are not running must gather from what Lubu is sharing. So we'll have to dig where these logs are being uh, collected. Uh, I think Shrija, you... <laughs> But you are, have... Pardon me. But are you getting the the errors when you are running the performance test suite? Uh, no, just when adding the quark um, simulation test. Okay, so so uh, so the performance tests for yeah. on yeah. on top of the... quark. Yes, correct. Um, which one exactly? Uh, it's in this pull request one two one one six. Oh no, actually, one two one one seven. Is this what I'm looking for, Larry? Uh, excuse me, wanting to show. Yeah, that one. Yeah. Uh, Shrija, do you have uh, the warning message? What What does it look like? Yeah, I think. Yeah, something like this I posted on the chat. Yeah, so I, I think we'll have to find a way to sk skip this kind of log gathering for the quark um, tests. So yeah, I think we also had links of where these um, failures were coming from inside of KubeWord, right? Yeah. Yeah, can can you put that in the meeting notes as well? Yeah, sure. So is the problem that you're you're trying to find where this is happening and and to not do this? Yeah, yeah. I think Ryan, what we need to do is first we need to find where this is happening and then second, once we have you know where this is happening, we need to skip this for any VMIs that is running on the fake node. I think that will handle this scenario gracefully. So we'll, not, uh, we'll continue to work with performance tests that are running on the real VMIs, and then for the fake ones, we'll skip it. Okay. Makes sense. Okay. I know I understand. Yeah, I'll, I'll message you on, offline, okay? Um... Okay, makes sense. Okay, what um what else is going on? Is there anything else about this quark integration we need to talk about? Mm. 
Okay. All right, I don't have any more topics then, so I think I think we're good then. We'll, we'll end early. All right, thank you, everybody. Thanks, folks. All right, we'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you.